Today, we're going to show you how you can model and manage permissions with the UiPath data service. Service agents in our organization need to be able to create new service requests, see service request history, and make minor updates to customer information. In this demo, we'll create the right set of permissions for the agents to get access to the exact data they need. Here you see the UiPath data service entities. To change the permissions for a user, I click on the three dot menu button here and select user management experience. We see that the user management experience has two tabs. First is the users groups tab that shows which users or groups from UiPath Automation Cloud has what roles assigned to them. Second is the roles tab where I can find existing or create new roles. By default, the data service offers four roles, administrator, data reader, data writer, and designer. These roles are granted standard permissions on all entities in the system. Now let's create a new role. I click on the create new role button. I will create the agent role so that they can do their job when working with processes or apps that connect to data service. Now let's grant the needed permissions. As they do not need admin access, I will not allow them to manage roles and manage or customize schemas. I'll now grant permissions for the service requests entity, which is frequently accessed by the agents. Once I select the service requests entity, all the related entities, such as customers, products, etc., got automatically added to the permission set so that I can grant the right set of permissions. I'll provide the agents with create, read, and edit permissions. I do not want them to delete the service requests, so I won't grant that permission. Agents should be able to read product and customer information. I will also give them edit access to the customer's entity so they can update a customer address or phone numbers. I'll allow the agents to read their own data, but not modify it in any way. Additionally, I'll add the service request history entity and provide the agents with the permission to create, read, and edit this entity. With this, the permissions for the agent's role is complete. Now, anybody who's assigned the agent's role will be able to create service requests and service request history as part of automations. I'll save these modifications. Here you see that the new role, Agents, has been created. Let's now look at how to assign this role to various groups or users. I'll click on Add Users or Groups button. I can search for any user or group that's defined in the UiPath Automation Cloud. We can also create a new user or group by going into the admin experience in the Automation Cloud portal and assign them. Here, certain groups already exist for the agents. I'll search for them and grant the permissions. I have the Americas, APAC, and EMEA agents groups, which contain the right set of users. I'll select these groups and assign them the agents role. A simple save, and we're all done. In this demo, we saw how to create a new role and manage role-based permissions, all with just a few clicks inside of the UiPath data service. Thank <laughs> you.